Welcome to South Sudan. Just an hour outside of the capital of Juba, uh, capital of South Sudan. I am staying in a tent with the Mundari people. It's a tribe, they're nomadic people. And cattle, as you can see, is a very, very big part of their life. And we'll be enjoying the lifestyle with them for the next couple of days. The cows represent great wealth, uh, ranging anywhere from $500 up to $2,000 plus. Sunset was absolutely stunning every night at the Mandari camp. Here I am early in the morning, right before our sunrise. It's 5.29 a.m. And camping out here with the Mandari. It's, Mandari is a nomadic tribe here, located in South Sudan about, right, and here's my friend, good morning. So they're located, uh, this group at least, about an hour outside of Juba, the capital. And as you can see, Cattle is very, very important to their life. It's their form of currency. And right now they're starting their daily chores. But pretty cool place. The Mandari people are truly one with the cattle. I, I mean, it provides their sustenance, their wealth and even subs in as their furniture as a couch. This is the Sunday church service under a tree. the cows well during the day it all empties out and the cows are taking out grazing they'll be back around 3 or 4 p.m. we'll be waiting for them so of course there's a system in the center that's dung dried up dung and that's burned every day especially in the afternoon when the mosquitoes come out so the smoke keeps away the mosquitoes of course there's a lot of malaria here all these stakes on the ground that is where you tie up the cows so they are circling the the piles of dung and kept safe uh, very far in the background you can see all the dung spread out and that's drying uh, to get ready for the next day so they have these the mandari have these basic shelters here you can see the tarp over the uh, the sticks and the branches here is a actual bed on the raised platform. So someone or a couple people might sleep on that during the night. And again, here they burn the dung to keep away the mosquitoes, that gray pile right there. It's around 4 p.m. and the cows are starting to come home from their grazing. And here the prep work's being done. So a lot of mosquitoes at dusk and the dung is being, dried dung here, is being placed on fires, uh, where it will now be lit on fire and create a ton of smoke to keep the mosquitoes away from the cows and from the people. You can see the bed right behind the dung pile. And the Mandari love wrestling, young and old. <laughs> mm. 
hanging out with some of the calves. This guy is absolutely humongous. Some of the biggest horns on him and his little buddy. Every morning and every evening, the Mandaris take the ash from the burnt dung and they rub it all over themselves and the cattle. This serves as their mosquito repellent. The Mandari only eat the meat of the cows for special occasions like a wedding, but they do drink the milk of the cow non-stop. <laughs> Brushing your teeth after a great meal. And that wraps up my unique visit hanging out with the Mandari of South Sudan. <laughs>